The loose parts assignment. How can you ensure that loose parts are being used in a way that meets the unique needs of the infants, toddlers, young preschooler children in my care? I would provide open-ended material for children to explore and interact with, provide materials that each child is interested in, provide a variety of materials that are different from regular toys or materials that are being used in the classroom, Having materials that are easily accessible for all children, meaning at their eye level and on shelves that are accessible for them. Allowing children to use their imaginations and be creative with the materials, meaning to let the children lead in the activity instead of the teacher always guiding the activity and telling each child what to do. Three loose parts that I could introduce into the classroom that could be used to foster learning are paper towels or toilet paper rolls. These can allow children to stack them, use them as a funnel for other objects to go through, could be used as a musical instrument, and could be made as a village or town with them by taping them or making objects go through or just making a little town for each different size of paper towel or toilet paper roll. The second loose part I would incorporate would be stones, pebbles, or wood slices. These objects could be used to stack them together or with other materials. They could make a picture with them. They could help develop their math skills by counting and sorting or displaying the rocks or wood chips to a, an according number. This also allows children to interact with different textures, with the pebbles or with the wood blocks, because they're different textures that children don't usually have a chance to use because most environments only have plastic or different textures of materials, so pebbles or wood slices would give children a different variety of textures to deal with. The third loose part I would include is empty egg cartons. These could help students and children to stack materials in, like a toilet paper roll and the little slots or they can sort materials like pebbles or stones or shapes. This also allows children to use their imagination on what it could be, like it could be a bow or a house or some type of shelter for an animal. It's also a different texture for children to work with because it's a different cardboard feeling, which is different than the wood or the plastic houses they play with. Two examples of what I would do or might do in the future to extend the loose parts learning. I would provide multiple resources and materials for children to use in the classroom at their eye level so they can explore and try new things with the different materials. I would find different activities that could use loose part materials and open-ended materials for children to make whatever they want instead of the teacher telling them what they need to make. They can make whatever that they want using their imagination. And I would provide different textures for children to feel and incorporate in their learning that could allow children to feel different textures on their fingers and that could be sensitive to or might enjoy more than the regular plastic or wood that everyone uses.